Hey folks, welcome back to yet another Station Focus video. We're heading downtown again today, but not too far downtown, as we'll be stopping at Wellesley Station on the Young Line of the TTC subway just one stop south of Bloor Young. This is a quaint little station with some surprising features, and its location among the ever-changing Young Street skyscrapers that we talked about a while back makes it great for visiting some of the landmarks nearby, such as the University of Toronto. Let's head over to the station and take a look. Wellesley Station is a station on the Young Line of the Toronto Subway, situated on Wellesley Street, and is a station directly south of Bloor Young, being one of the first subway stations open back in 1954. This station used to be my home station, with its proximity to the University of Toronto, and I'd argue it's quite underrated and one of the nicest stations in the system, especially with the renovations which were completed last year, that gave the station a new entrance, improved accessibility, as well as a general facelift. The station was used by more than 23,000 people daily in 2018, before the bad thing happened, which ranks it around the middle of all 75 stations in the system. However, it's the second least used station in the downtown area. With its geographical location just south of Bloor, it has a front row seat watching this whole section of Young Street go through massive transformation, with more and more developments rising up, and we'll probably see Wellesley becoming more and more popular as well. Arriving at the intersection of Wellesley and Young, you might not be able to spot the subway station entrance right away. From here on, unlike the stations in central downtown, the Young subway line doesn't actually travel directly under Young, and we'll need to take a couple of steps eastward down Wellesley Street in order to find our station entrance, which fortunately is quite easy to spot with its massive head house. A giant TTC logo could be pretty cool here. This is one of the stations that has its concourse on street level. There is no intermediate level between the entrances and the subway platforms, resulting in a much simpler and shallower station design. It's still spacious enough to accommodate the passenger traffic though. Wellesley Station's headhouse is even more unique in that it's much more than just a concourse for a subway station. It also serves as a bus loop, with the circular station entrance sat right in the middle. Definitely a great space saving idea for a downtown station on prime real estate right near the central street of the city, although you do need to be a bit more careful than usual when heading into the station. Inside the entrance, the first thing we are greeted with is, of course, Presto Fairgates, as well as collector's booths on either side, currently only serving as way stations for station attendants. Past the Fairgates, and you'll notice the station building is actually more of a donut shape, with the donut hole being filled with a small convenience store, which unfortunately doesn't sell donuts, and is actually not open at all. At each side of the Timbit are the stairs and escalators down to the platforms, as well as some benches for waiting on. What are we waiting for exactly? The buses, of course. Right at the back of the station house is where you'll be able to access the buses that stop by this station. Even though this station isn't served by a streetcar route like the other stations to itself, and hence gets a lot less ridership, there's still plenty of room both inside and outside of the station building to make it a comfortable wait. Riders will be able to catch the 94 Wellesley bus here to U of T in the bus terminal, with other Young Street buses accessible on the street. A relatively new feature of the station, owing to the renovations that were completed last year, are these brand new elevators at the back. The TTC is doing great work, making more and more stations in its subway system accessible, and it's even more important for a station that's so close to downtown and the universities. Now let's head downstairs to the subway platforms of the station for a change of scenery. This is where you'll really feel the glow up of the station, not least because the lighting in here has really been improved. Perfect for catching those reflections off of shiny Toronto rockets, making this arguably one of the best underground station platforms to rail fan from, especially with the nice high ceiling at the southern end. In terms of features, these side platforms have all the necessities, including a designated waiting area, TV screens, and lots of seating. The platform level is also where you'll be able to access yet another brand new feature of the station, a second entrance. Opened last year, this entrance opens onto Dundonald Street, just north of Wellesley Street, and finally removed the honour of being the only downtown station without a second street entrance, although that's definitely a bit dubious, with quite a few other stations merely having multiple staircases leading to the same concourse. In the case of Wellesley, a brand new station entrance and concourse was built, complete with a new set of fare gates and access to the platform level. The 
This was built as part of the Totem Condos development right above, and provides residents here with an indoor connection to the building, which is awesome to see. We're really digging the bright colored walls and tall ceiling. The only thing that's just a bit imperfect is the fact that this entrance only has stair access. The exterior of this back entrance isn't too shabby either. It also serves as a front yard for the condo building, complete with bike racks, greenery, and some seating. There's also a small path along the side of the building where you'll be able to see the head house and bus terminal in its full glory. Besides all the hustle and bustle on Young Street, the surroundings of Wellesley Station also include James Canning Park off of Dundonald, a nice tree-lined strip on top of the rail corridor that also connects to similar parks to the north. This is a great place to sit down, chat up your neighbours, and maybe do a bit of picnicking. The neighbourhood surrounding the station is filled with tall buildings, which we talked about in a previous video, and Wellesley is really a small refuge in the middle of all this transformation. And with this, our tour of Wellesley Station comes to an end. This is a charming little station just at the edge of Toronto city centre, but its surroundings are really seeing a lot of growth, and the newly revitalized station will benefit the neighbourhood a ton. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.